Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today we're going to be ranking every single weapon in Krunker.io. It's been almost 9 months since I last did a Krunker.io tier list, and the weapons in this game have changed so, so much, so I knew I had to go and do another video. If you guys are excited for this video, make sure to go and smash that like button and subscribe for more Krunker.io content. Only 20% of you guys watching this video right now are subscribed. So if you don't want to miss out on any new Krunker.io videos, make sure to go and hit that sub button right now. Also guys, in the comment section below, make sure to go and post your own Krunker.io weapons tier list. Go and rank the weapons from S tier all the way down the trash tier and I'll go and heart react and reply to some of my favourite comments. But with that said, let's get straight into the tier list and rank those weapons. Alright guys, we've got every single weapon down here in Krunker.io. But not only the main classes like the Trigger Man and the Commando, but we also have the pistols in the game that we're going to be rating at the very end. Now the rating scale is pretty simple. S tier means the best of the best. These classes, you would be mad not to use them. A tier means very, very viable. Obviously not as good as S tier, but still you can really, really, really do well. B, semi-viable. In the right hands, you can do quite well, but generally you need to be a higher skill player to really get the most out of them. C tier, very, very average, kind of not using. D tier, really going on that bad category. And then trash tier, don't even touch it, the worst weapons in the game. Now my rating for each of these weapons is not just going to be the weapon, it's also going to be including the class. So take the Trigger Man right here, I'm not only going to be talking about the Assault Rifle, but also the movement speed, the HP of the actual class itself. And for a lot of these classes, if they have a secondary weapon, because that can really go and influence the rating as well. But then when we go down to the pistols here, I will just be talking about the pistols individually. So overall, mostly classes, but then a few weapons at the end. But with that said, my friends, let's get straight into it and start ranking these Krunker.io weapons. And the first one I want to go and talk about is the Revolver. In my opinion, one of the strongest weapons in the game. Now, while the Revolver is extremely, extremely powerful, it has to be in the right hands because you need an insane amount of accuracy. The Revolver back in the day was just extremely overpowered because it could go in one shot headshot 100 HP classes very, very easily. Nowadays, the weapon has been nerfed quite considerably from its very, very high power peak. And now it's just a really, really good weapon, but it's definitely for really, really good players only. The reason I say that is because you can't get those one-shot headshots on 100 HP classes. You shoot them in the head, they're still going to be left with a little bit of health. So you need to get one and then two. So fluke headshots don't really work here. However, if you can consistently go and track your opponents and hit two shots very, very, very quickly, you can go and decimate people. Assault rifle plays, they go down. Snipers, they go down. One-shot headshots on them. It's basically the best sniper counter in the game besides the LMG. That's also probably pretty up there. But the thing with the revolver is that it has a very, very small margin of error. If you go and miss your first shot against basically every single class in the game, you are completely done for. Against the bad sniper, yes, you can go and pull out your revolver and bang, go and shoot him and get that one shot, one kill headshot. But against every other class in the game, you still need to go and hit two shots. With 100 HP, you're not going to be tanking anything. With no secondary, you have nothing to go and swap back to. This is purely a marksman's gun. And if you're insane at Krunker.io and have great aim, this is one of the strongest in the game. But if you're not so good, then it's definitely a lower tier gun. I still think it's really, really powerful. And that's the reason why I'm putting it in the A tier. Alright, next up, let's go and talk about the run and gun class with the submachine gun because this class has been one of the most changed in the whole game over the last year. Now, when it comes to the submachine gun, there has been a ton of buffs. The hip fire spread has been reduced significantly, and now in close range, you can actually go and hip fire and it does a pretty decent job. 
when it comes to the bullet count of the submachine gun, it was originally 24, now it's 34, 10 or more bullets, and that makes a world of a difference. You can very consistently kill two to three people with one magazine, when before, you would have to go and reload basically after every single kill, because you would be really, really running it thin on bullets. So overall, the weapon has been buffed quite, quite considerably. But also, let's go and talk about the class. The class now has wall running and wall jumping, and that works perfectly with the running gun, as it has a higher movement speed than basically any other class in the game. So overall, this is really, really nimble, really fast, has a lot of mobility, and now the weapon is not actually as inferior to the assault rifle as it once was. Before, basically, the assault rifle was the king, and the submachine gun was the worst. And then, before that, it was actually swapped. The assault rifle was actually really bad, and everybody used the submachine gun. But now, the submachine gun has its own identity, being really, really fast, wall jumping and wall running around the map, and with a lot more bullets in the magazine than compared to the assault rifle, you can go and spray down more people. Now while I am singing the praises of the run and gun class, there is quite a few weaknesses. No secondary weapon, quite poor, medium to long range performance. This gun really, really is quite usable and only quite usable when you're right up in people's faces spraying them down and just zooming around the map. But with that said, what happens if you get really, really close range and get blasted by a shotgun? Well, the shotgun goes and wins. The running gun class has a very, very particular scenario that it does very, very well. And that zone is quite hard to go and keep up throughout the whole, ma whole match of Krunker.io. So with that said, I last put it in the B tier. I think it's definitely, definitely better than what it was before, but due to its lack of range, I think think I'm going to keep it in the B tier, definitely on the high tier, maybe an A- minus or a B plus, but I just don't think it is as good as a revolver. The revolver just has so much potential in the right hands. All right, next up, let's go and talk about the Hunter class with his sniper rifle, because this weapon is an absolute beast. Against 100 HP classes, one shot kill to the head or chest. Against tankier classes like the LMG or the Rocketeer, you have to go and put one in the head and then whip out your Deagle and then fire once to the chest, and they're going to be done as well. So overall, very, very quick time to kill if you can go and aim correctly. Quick scoping in Krunker.io is kind of hilariously easily, uh, easy given the quite large hitboxes, and the relatively, you know, very relatively quick uh, scoping time also is a big, big factor in that. Then going add in slide hopping around the map, getting right up in people's faces. Overall, this gun has it all and it works perfectly with the game mechanics of Krunker.io. The only weakness is very, very apparent. This class only has 60 HP compared to every other class in the game which has more. So basically, if you're playing the Hunter, it's risk and reward. If you can go and aim, if you can go and get those shots off, you'll be able to go and dominate basically everybody. The LMG is a little bit of a challenge, especially if the LMG, per, uh, LMG opponent can go and slide up around the map. If they can slide up around the map very, very quickly, it's quite hard to go and land one or two shots or one sniper and then a deagle. But with that said, against most classes in this game, the sniper is, it just reigns supreme. I put in the S tier the last two times I've done a tier list, and it's going in the S tier again. It's just simply too, too good, and it's one of the, it's the best gun in the game. One of the best guns in the game, and I think it's not broken, but it definitely, definitely deserves that spot. Alright guys, next up, let's go and talk about the Marksman class with his semi-automatic rifle. And this is a difficult one to go and rate. When it comes to the semi, the semi-automatic rifle, the damage on this gun is absolutely insane. And if you can go and aim for headshots, you will demolish the opposition. Bang, bang, two shots of the head, 100 HP classes, they are done. Against, you know, the Hunter, you're going to be obliterating as well. The semi is extremely, extremely powerful if you can go and aim correctly. And you also go and have that secondary weapon as well. But the thing is, the thing that really, really brings this class down is the 90 HP. You can go and get one shot by the revolver, a big, big counter against the assault rifle. It just makes it even easier for them to go and spray you down. 
this is a gun where aim really, really does go and prevail. Really does go and prevail. Quite similarly to, let's say, the revolver here, where aim is very important as well. But that minus 10 HP, that 90 HP, makes it just so much more difficult to really go and pub stomp. This is much more of a calculator. You're trying to go and take out maybe one or two people at a time, rather than just slide hopping around the map and just demolishing, just pub stomping people. So for me, the semi is more in the C tier because I'm just personally not good at good at, with it for my playstyle. But with that said, in more competitive fashion, this gun is actually quite strong, and in the right hands, this gun can be a force to be reckoned with. I think I'm gonna go and put it in the B tier. I think it's worse than the running gun, but you know, still B tier. I'd say this is B plus, maybe B minus, or just B. The semi, not saying it's bad, it's still really, really good, but you have to be really, really good to make the uh, the best use of it, and that's why it's going in the B tier. All right, I've only been talking about the good weapons. Let's go and bust out some of the uh, not so good ones, and the first one I want to go and talk about is the Akimbo Uzi. Now, the Akimbo Uzi is an interesting one, as it was the first class, along with the runner, to get the wall running ability. Now, when this first had the wall running ability, I was like, damn, this is quite good because you can go and run along the rolls and just jump on somebody and spray the Uzis, and it can actually be very, very effective. And this really made the Akimbo class, the agent, that much more viable, I suppose, in public matches. But the problem with this weapon, it's always been the problem, no ADS. The spread is incredibly, incredibly bad and makes it basically impossible to kill people at medium range unless you just stand still and then crouch. Then it's basically laser, you know, laser precise, but you're not moving. Crunker.io, all about speed. If you're not moving, you're basically dead. So the Akimbo is one of those classes where I think in very, very, very close range, it can be very good, but then we do have the shotgun to go and talk about. So I think I'm going to go and put it in the C tier. I think I'm going to put it in the C tier. It's cool and it's fun, but for majority of engagements, it's quite average. All right, guys, I've teased you long enough. Let's go and talk about the Vince class with his shotgun, one of the most controversial classes in the game. The shotgun is universally known across Krunker.io as the scumbag weapon. If you go and equip the shotgun, you just want an easy time. You slide up into somebody's face, you go and fire one shot to the chest or head, whatever, you get the one shot, one kill, you rinse and repeat, you go and shotgun jump around, you do some trick shots or whatever, you whip out a deagle. This class is the easy and fun class and it always has been. But with that said, this weapon has got some considerable nerfs over the last couple of months. First up, we have got a reduced amount of range. The range has been cut quite considerably. The spread pattern has been changed, so it's not just clumped. It, I believe it was random initially. Now it's a set pattern, so you can't really go and get very, very lucky random pellet shots. You have to actually be close range. And that's the thing with the shotgun originally is you could actually go and get one shot kills quite easily at medium range against like the trigger man against 100 hp classes you can't really do that anymore medium range you're just going to be you know doing a little bit of damage not really one shot one kill still quite a decent amount of damage if you can get a, a shot on the head but overall medium to long range the gun just isn't as good as it once was obviously it makes sense right but it took a little bit of time for us to go and get there but in close range, the shotgun still goes and dominates, and rightfully so. So, it's a shotgun. It's supposed to be a close range weapon. But the thing is, with Krunker.io, compared to every other FPS game out there, is their slide hopping. You can be close range with people, even on long range maps. If you go and get a lot of speed, you just slide hop right up in people's faces. On In other games, you have to go and walk up to them, and that means the opponents have time to go and shoot you with their longer range weapons. That's the thing, it's always been with a shotgun. If you can slide hop well and you know your work yourself you're going to quite easily around the map, you can go and dominate people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my rating, but I'm going to give a quick suggestion of how the shotgun can be nerfed. And I think it's a very, very simple thing. The reason why the shotgun is annoying is there's no counterplay. You just slide hop around the map, you shoot somebody, one shot, one kill, that person has no time to counter. It doesn't matter if they're a hunter class, the submachine gun, whatever. No time to counter. What should happen with the shotgun class is we make it non one shot, one kill against the majority of classes. Maybe the hunter headshot one shot, one kill, fine. 
but it gets a majority of classes, make it a two-shot kill. But make the shot really, really quick, like, yo, bang, bang, like, really, really quick shots, instead of, you know, the slightly slower shots that we have right now. So that gives a little bit of time for counterplay that other classes currently don't have. So with that said, that's my suggestion, Sydney Vince, hopefully you can go and maybe work on something like that. I think that would make the shotgun a lot more balanced, but currently I have to go have to go and put it in A tier. Now the reason why I don't put it in S tier is the S tier is supposed to be the king of the kings, right? If you're really, really good at Krunker, you can go and beat out shotgun users. I think this is definitely like an A plus, S minus. We're like, we're on the borderline here, boys. But I still think the uh, sniper rifle is better because a medium and long range, you can dominate with that and you can go and dominate at close range with the sniper. But, you know, S minus, you know, A plus, that type of region, definitely where the shotgun lies. So we'll go and put it here. I also love that I barely mentioned the shotgun jumping with this class, but that's, you know, a quite cool aspect. You get a bit of mobility as well. And since we're talking about, you know, jumping around the map, let's go and talk about the Rocketeer class because rocket jumping with this class is very, very quite easy to do. Now, the Rocketeer was always that annoying class that just got kind of nerfed into the ground. You know, crazy enough with the same idea that I just brought up with, instead of just having one really high-powered rocket, it got split into two less-powered rockets, and that kind of brought the gun down a little bit. It's still quite usable, especially if you can direct impact people, but the splash damage got nerfed quite a bit as well. So, you know, the idea that happened with the Rocketeer, do it with the shotgun, I think would make it a lot more fair. But going back to the Rocketeer here, a lot of people kind of disregard this weapon, but... This is something that if you can go and fire an RPG and get a direct impact, and then if they st they're still alive, whip out your deagle and go for the shot, you can go and get quite a lot of kills. And I've seen quite a few good plays just slide hopping around the map, bang, bang, pull out the deagle, finishing off people. And you can go and wipe out a lot of people if you are skilled enough. But the thing is, only two rockets. And this is one of those things where it's good in, in theory, I suppose, but... With slide hopping being just so, so, so quick, it's kind of difficult to go and hit people that are moving, and it's only good against newbie players. It's kind of the similar way with the Akimbo, right? Against people that are not really good, it's kind of fun to just run around and jump off the walls and stuff and spray them down. So we're going to put it in the C tier because it's definitely not super, super bad, but it's definitely not the best. Alright, now we finally have older weapons in Krunker.io right here. For some reason, the crossbow and the light machine gun weren't uploading. I don't know why, but we fixed the issue, and now it is all good to go. And hey, let's go and talk about the light machine gun next, because I really do like this class. The Spray and Prey is the tank of Krunker.io. With 160 HP, this class is just so incredibly tanky, and you can go and soak up a lot of bullets. But they go and counter that, your base movement speed is extremely, extremely slow. And if you're just walking around with the LMG out, you're going to be absolutely obliterated. But the thing is, this is Krunker.io. Slide hopping is the aim of the game. And if you can go and slide hop with the Spray and Prey class and you get that technique on point, you can go so, so fast and you're just going to be one of the most annoying classes in the game. The thing is, Krunker is really, really, really fast, right? But if you can go and land a few shots against, let's say, a really fast Triggerman class, it's going to be no problem. Over 100 HP. Or a really fast Sniper, quite easy to take him down, 60 HP. But what about the Spray and Prey? 160 HP, slide hopping around the map. It's going to be basically impossible to kill you if you can go and keep your slide hop up. So that is really, really good. Also really good is your jumps, jump height with this class, with this weapon actually, with the LMG out, is quite low. So you can go and chain together slide hops really, really quickly, and you can get a lot of speed really, really quickly compared to other classes. If you want to make it a bit easier for yourself, you can go and pull out your melee, pull out your knife, do a few slide hops, and then pull out your LMG. But a lot of people can just go straight with the LMG slide hop and get a lot of speed quite quickly. But the thing is, the LMG itself is a weak weapon. Its damage is quite low and you are really reliant on headshots, which can be, be quite difficult if you're slide hopping at a very, very fast speed. 
So overall, the LMG is more of a supportive class. You're not going to be getting all the kills, but you're going to be playing a really, really big, uh, real big role in your team's composition, and that's why it's played quite consistently in competitive. It soaks up a lot of damage, does a lot of damage, but you're not going to be getting a lot of kills. Reload speed, incredibly slow. You have to go and sit in a corner or just keep slide hopping around and hope nobody goes and hits you. So overall, not the best pub stomping weapon, but in very uh, pocketed, very pocketed areas and in objective modes, this class just absolutely dominates. And even though it's got a few nerfs, I still think it's worth putting in the A tier. I still think it's an A tier weapon. The HP is just so, so good and its utility is so good. This class, even though it doesn't have a secondary weapon, I think it goes in the A tier. Maybe in between the revolver and the shotgun, I think it's that strong. The revolver, again, not understating its, uh, its really, really big amount of power, but this is more easy to utilize because you have a lot of HP and you can just go and spray it around. So for the masses, this is a bit easier, but for pros, this is, uh, this is probably the better one to go for. Again, not saying that the LMG is not for pros. So many pros go and use it. It's just saying that the raw potential of the uh, of this revolver right here cannot be understated. So with that said, raw potential the for us, the commando class. Let's go and talk about that next. This is a class that when it first came out, people were like, oh my god, this is overpowered. This is broken. This class is going to dominate everybody. Reason why? Three round burst. If you can go in here, I believe on the hunter, if you can go to hit a headshot and then a body shot, it's uh, a one burst. But against the trigger man and other 100 HP classes, you need two headshots and then a body shot, uh, if I believe so. So with that said, the commando in theory, if you can go and aim at the head, can do quite well. But its recoil is a little bit higher, it's a little bit, um, bit more to control than let's say other classes in the game. And also, people again slide hopping very, very fast in the game. In theory, the commando could just obliterate the LMG, for example. You go a two, three bursts at head, bang, grr, grr, boom, they're dead, very, very easy. But the LMG and every other person in this game are slide hopping so fast, it's incredibly, incredibly difficult to go and track and get those headshots. The recoil is going to be putting your aim off, and also that downtime between bursts could be time that you'd be shooting with, let's say, the assault rifle. So overall, the commando with its 100 HP and its secondary, it's kind of like a baby brother to the trigger man, but it just isn't as good. I'll put tentatively in the B tier, probably looking at it like a C plus B minus, to be perfectly honest. Definitely not as good as a semi. I think it's going to be sitting like around here, but we don't have, you know, uh, minus and pluses with this. But let's go and put it there. This is the top of the B tier. This is the bottom of the B tier, top of the A tier, bottom of the A tier, so on and so on. All right, next up, let's go and talk about the crossbow. The crossbow is one of those weapons, man. It's one of those weapons where if I go and use it, I'm just really terrible at it. But a person that has a lot of experience with a crossbow and knows how to go and use it correctly can absolutely obliterate me. The reason why is a crossbow is the only weapon in the game that can one-shot everything to the chest. 200 damage to the chest against every single class, and that cannot be understated. But the thing is, the crossbow, it's only one bolt. One bolt, reload, one bolt, reload, and there is travel time. Same with the rocket launcher, there is travel time, and that can make things very, very interesting. The crossbow, I would say, out of all the weapons in Krunker.io, is one that requires the most patience and also the most learning. Because if you can get good at the crossbow, you learn the timings, you learn how fast it goes, you learn how much you can go and predict, one shot, one kill against LMGs. This is like an instant LMG counter if you know how to go and use it correctly. But for the majority of people out here, we're too used to hit scan weapons, which is the majority of weapons in the game. And the style switch to the crossbow is just way too jarring. But the crossbow has hidden potential. It definitely has hidden potential. And I heard there's going to be a rework that is going to fundamentally change this class. So I will probably be doing another tier list, maybe in like, you know, five or so months, talking about the changes to this and the new class that might be potentially coming as well. So with that said, Right now, the crossbow, I feel like it's like C. I don't think it's D tier. I don't think it's D tier. I think it's definitely C tier. On the end of C tier, it's a niche class, but can actually have a lot of effective effectiveness and arguably more effectiveness than the uh, Kimbo, more effectiveness than the rocket launcher in the right hands. But I feel like we're going to be putting it at like the C, just basically 
dead in the C tier, I think that's where it deserves a go. Alright, the final class to go and talk about is the Trigger Man with his Assault Rifle, the Jack of All Trades Master of None. There's a reason why this is the first class that you go and play when you first hop in the Crunker.io. It's extremely easy to go and pick up, but it's also extremely strong. Now, when it comes to the class characteristics, 100 HP and very standard movement speed, nothing really to ride home about. When it comes to, you know, the secondary, yes, you have the secondary weapon, but the main thing about this class is just how well-rounded it is, and it all comes down to the assault rifle. I remember back in the day when the submachine gun was the king of not only close range, but also medium range. And the reason why was because it had a faster time to kill at medium range if you could go and hit headshots. That has now been rectified and the assault rifle is now the king of medium range. But it's also really good at close range and it's also really good at long range. It's a jack of all trades, master of medium range, but still really, really good at everything else. The thing with the assault rifle, is it's so versatile. And that's what you need in Crunker.io because you never know what's around the corner. You're slide hopping around the map, right? You might see somebody all the way the other side of Little Town, right? You need to go and take him out. If you're a submachine gun class, you have no hope. Long range, no hope at all. But the assault rifle, very easy. Damage drop off, not significant at all. But with that said, not as not as good as let's say the semi. The semi's uh, drop, -off, drop off is just negligible at long range. It's absolutely crazy. But with this, uh, with the assault rifle here, crazy, crazy good uh, damage drop off, great uh, long range performance. Medium range, crazy good, beats everything, and in close range, not as good as obviously the shotgun and the submachine gun and stuff like that, but still can really, really hold its own, especially if you can go and hit the headshots. The trigger man is the jack of all trades, master of none. It's so good at basically everything and it's basically your best friend when you first start playing crunker.io and even if you're like a year or year and a half in a crunker it's still going to be very very dependable i think i put it in st last time we're going to be putting it in st this time because it's just d that damn good but just not as good as a sniper rifle the raw ability to one shot people to snipers that's why it's so good so this is very interesting because the S, A, and B tier, I would say, are very, very close together. And that is a really good sign of the balance in Crunker.io because this is basically rock, paper, scissors, right? The LMG, it does really, really good against the sniper, but the sniper does good basically against everything. But the revolver goes and counters the sniper. The assault rifle does good basically against everything. The shotgun does good against, you know, close range, like the running gun, but not as good. There's like a rock, paper, scissors mechanism in this game and obviously you have to take that into account but I'm just talking about general combat and I think this is fair I think this is fair maybe the uh the submachine gun could come up to here maybe I think that would be fair maybe this riding on the borderline so that means it's more you know most of the guns are very very viable in this game definitely definitely viable in this game and it's something to be said that the balance of these weapons is quite quite fair very quite fair and I still think there needs to be work done with the shotgun. This needs to be, you know, chucked down here to make it, you know, even fairer. But I think the shotgun is the only thing that's really in the way of a very fair gun balance in Crunker. Of course, I forgot about the runner class, but this one is pretty straightforward. 100 HP, quite high movement speed. I believe the highest movement speed of any class in the game. But you only have a knife. But you do actually have wall running now. You do have wall running. You can go and bounce off the walls and then jump on top of somebody and slash your knife and get that two swipe kill and whatever. So overall, not too bad. Actually, not too bad in that aspect. But still, against all of these classes in the game, the runner just really doesn't hold up that much. But I wouldn't call it trash. I think with the wall running, it has that meme -y, you know, comical aspect. So I think I'm going to go and put it in the D tier. All right, my friends, this is my rating for the main classes of Crunker.io. Now let's go and talk about the secondary weapons and let's go and start off with the pistol. Now the pistol is one of those weapons where against all the other secondaries, it's kind of been the ugly duckling. Nobody really wants to go and use it because up until a very, very recent patch, it actually had a slower pull out time than the Desert Eagle, which made absolutely no sense. Like, why would you go and use it? The Deagle is just so much stronger. So the pistol now has a, mo uh, a pull out buff, which is actually pretty cool, but the damage is quite, quite low. 
This gun is only really useful with a handful of classes. I would say maybe useful with, let's say, the uh, RPG here if somebody gets really low and you want to go and take, like, two or three people get low really, really quickly. You can just kind of spray this and go and get a few kills. But overall, not that effective. Maybe the shotgun, but everything that the pistol can do... The Desert Eagle can go and do better, so I think I'm just going to go and put it maybe in the D tier. It's better than the knife, obviously, but it's just it's just really not that good. Alright, let's go and talk about the Deagle then. This gun is a hand cannon. You can absolutely obliterate people. Hitting headshots, you do an insane amount of damage, and this is your best friend. If somebody's just a little bit low, they still have, you know, you know, 20-30% HP left, whip out the Deagle, shoot them in the chest of the head, they are done. This is a very, very, very reliable handgun. And in my opinion, the Desert Eagle is, you know, not obviously as good as Revolver because the Revolver just has more damage and overall is just a better version, but it's still really, really quite good. Like, I would ra I would rather a Desert Eagle over a Crossbow, a Kimbo, and Rocket Launcher. Maybe over the, over the Burst? I'd say I I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here, but I would rather over all of these. The Deagle is just really good, and there is a Deagle class, but it's not publicly available, only in custom matches. But I think, you know, in the B minus T, I think it actually holds up, you know, quite well. All right, next up, let's go and talk about the fully automatic pistol, the Glock. Now, this is an interesting weapon. It's the latest weapon in Krunker.io. It does 15 damage a shot, I believe, which is extremely, extremely low. And you have to go and aim for headshots to do basically anything. But it also has quite a few bullets in that magazine, and it's quite a reliable finisher upper. Now, again, comparing to something like the Deagle, right, if... You know, you hit somebody with a sniper rifle and they're quite low. You whip out the deagle, you go and shoot them, they're dead. But if your aim potentially isn't as good and you're just you're not as confident in your aim, this is actually a really good sub really good substitute because you can just spray it, you can go in and get a few bullets land, a few bullets to land, and it's a much more safer alternative for a lot of players. So I'd say the Glock is one of those things where if you're running, let's say, the shotgun or the sniper rifle, or you know, obviously you can't with a revolver, but the shotgun and the sniper, I think this is pretty good. I think this is pretty decent. Would I take it over this and this? Maybe, actually. Maybe maybe I'd put it here if we're doing just on a raw basis of comparing weapons, which I am doing right now. But this is actually not too bad. I think it's better. Is it better than Kimbo's? No, probably not. Probably put it here, I suppose. But this is actually a good uh, sidearm. Definitely a good sidearm for certain classes, but it's much more niche. This is definitely, this could just be a primary weapon on itself. All right, the sawn off, my friends. You guys know where I'm going to put this. It does no damage. It's made for trick shotting. That's the purpose of the weapon. You go and rock it with the sniper rifle. You go and do a trick shot. You go and do off the bounce pad on Kanji or something like that. You go and just get some cool clips, right? You be worst. You go and get some cool clips and all that. You be a Knixo. You get some cool clips. But as a weapon, effectively, it, it's garbage. It does absolutely no damage. And I would rather knife somebody or use a pistol then use the sawn off. So as a purely on just trying to kill people and, you know, trying to go and win the match and all that, the sawn off, it's a trash tier weapon. It definitely, definitely is. But as an, you know, a cool weapon to go and do some cool movement and stuff like that, it's actually, you know, quite good. So maybe you put it in the D tier. Maybe it's not trash tier. Maybe it's not trash tier because of the movement aspect. You can really go and just unlock the movement on so many of these classes. Like let's say the assault rifle get up to some great positions. Hey, so maybe we put it in the D tier. Maybe it's got that. It's got that really good capability. All right, my friends. So that goes and leaves us with the Alien Blaster. Ah, yes, the Alien Blaster. This gun only really available to more high-ranked people. It's a bit of an exclusive club. This one, I believe, you have to be level 50 to go and unlock it. And there's a reason why this gun is very, very, very strong. But also, you have to go and pick your fights with it. You've got Four bullets, only four bullets compared to the six of the Deagle. But the thing is, it the fire rate's insane. You can bang, 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 and you can just obliterate people. LMG users, they go down. Every class goes down to the Alien Blaster, especially if you can go and hit your headshots, and you've got that cool sound as well. The Alien Blaster could effectively be a primary weapon, but you can really only take on maybe max two people at, at a time. But I would, I would I'd maybe slot it like here i reckon 
I reckon I think the Alien Blaster just as a standalone weapon is better than this because it just does so much damage and this, you know, you're taking a little bit longer to go and kill people but like time to kill wise, this is better than this, it's better than this, it's not better than this, it's maybe better in this it actually depending if you can go and fire you know aim quick enough this actually can be better than the revolver but i think overall in general combat i think this is probably where it goes and sits but i've got nukes just alien blaster only link in the description below by the way and it's actually an insanely good weapon but with that said, my friends, that is my tier list. Make sure you go and smash that like button and comment in the comment section below what your own personal crunker tier list is. But other than that, this is Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.